Everybody, it's Invictus. Time to eat and run here. The Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. Happy Sunday, Mosh Pit. I hope your weekends were awesome. Whew, man, talk about a feeding frenzy. People really wanted to see a TM Trainer episode, and you all did it. You know, I'm not sitting at 117 over 120 on the all items tier list. 2023 update edition live stream, which if we do hit that point of 120 on the like street counter, I will be doing that over the weekend here on YouTube. So stay tuned for that. And I'll keep you posted if we do hit that mark. Here's your artwork of the day here submitted by Vashta 77. Tile thread with Invicta logo in realism, realism kind of. And yeah, I mean, again, I love this type of shading. I especially love that it was done on old school notebook paper. It reminds me of the like the copycat Metallica shirt drawings I used to do way back in the day. So good on you. Thank you very much, Vashta77. Everyone who upvoted that one is a little while ago, but still good nonetheless. And I know today's Sunday. I know we usually sometimes do a random run day, but I just felt like, just felt like playing Eden today. CJ's going to be Papa Victor, Kilo Lima, Echo Zulu 1-4. We've got uh, we got the the lemonade, just it's just lemonade. We also have the Pascal candle, which will give us the tears up every time we clear a room without taking damage. So, dirty mind is also, eh, I mean, dirty mind's kind of whatever. You know, you get the dips. The dips can do some stuff, especially the holy dips and the golden dips. But the regular dips, they just kind of get in the way, and they also can like cause some weird like clown physics clown physics issues uh, if you they get hit by like a charging. A charging item or a charging mob or something like that it, it does weird stuff to them so you got to be a little bit cautious of that but overall i mean you know it's again it's it's kind of like a whatever item and uh, speaking of whatever whatever apparently there's just nothing on this floor so that's fine lemonade is just a lemonade is just a bigger version of lemon party um and it doesn't affect things in the in the air so lucky us i guess but there you go so that is that's what that's what lemonade does. Yep, enjoy it. Loving our shot speed here. Unfortunately, we did lose our tears up thanks to that uh, schmoove by the fly. Yeah, and, and and right there you just saw another example of the clown physics I'm talking about. Things that move in the air that have like no friction at all whatsoever. If they get hit by a dip, they will launch themselves at like Mach 490,000 towards you. It's a uh, it's, it's Isaac Clown Physics at its finest, or worse, depending on how you look at it. Get Marrow, which... You know, when we talk about, like, really, really, really bad boss items, Marrow, I feel like, has to be in the conversation. You know, as much as we bellyache about, like, oh, pageant... Dude, I'm getting so tired of these green flies. As much as we bellyache about, you know, pageant boy and, and the like, man, I... Getting, going through a boss fight and then just getting what is essentially a bone heart and nothing else, no stat upgrades whatsoever, is really, really sad. Get one more, one more cent, and we get ourselves a uh, get ourselves a compass here. What's that's what I'm gonna do. Now, unfortunately, we don't have anything something like brittle bones or anything like that, so we don't get any benefit for losing this bone heart. I am gonna walk all the way back to the boss item or boss room, I should say, pick up a red heart, and then we're gonna go hopefully get a penny from the sacrifice room it's gonna pay out right All right oh wait no we don't we, we we don't get a payout here do we all right here we go Wish I had a bomb so I could just simply just get into one of those chests but uh yeah we gotta do this the hard way here yeah, I think that Marrow is definitely another one that should warrant consideration for worst boss drops in the game. It's certainly up there. I mean, booster pack at least is usable and stuff. I mean, what does you know, what what does what does, what does bone marrow give you? Nothing. You get a bone heart, you get hit. I mean, you could even get hit theoretically if the boss had a bunch of ads that died after you cleared the room. You know, you could theoretically lose that bone heart before even picking up one of the red hearts. So, yeah. And like booster pack, I only mentioned booster pack because like, for, it's a good shop item, but I feel like it's a really bad boss item. There we go. So now we have a 33% chance to teleport to the angel angel room. I'm gonna take it, and we failed. Well, now we're just gonna go super hard on this. Oh, okay. <laughs> See, it was all worth it. Insert Jesse meme. He can't keep getting away with it. Oh, baby. Look at that. Look at that. Seven cents for a sack. I'll take it. 
get a tarot card and a key, and it gives an emperor card. Very nice. Yep. Pretty good. I'll take it. And we got a bomb. Okay. We're not done. We, we ain't done here yet now. Hang on now. Uh, we can go get this bomb. I'm just bombing for a crawl space there. That's the only reason why. I know the secret room is there, but I, I'm going to bomb the stone rocks over here so we can get this chest. Because we could potentially get a bomb and more from this chest here. And we do. Wait, no, that was a nickel. Never mind. Uh, yeah, and I'm honestly, we got the compass and holy mantle on floor one. I'm fine with that. And it's so funny because, like, I wasn't even planning on even playing that uh, that sacrifice room. I just wanted the three cents for the. For the compass, that was it. So the fact that we managed to do that is just incredible. Okay, we're just gonna do this room again, huh? So now what we have this we have kind of a hidden synergy here, which you wouldn't think about until I pointed it out. Um oh wow, that was a dime too. Now we have this crazy good synergy where we have the Pascal candle and holy mantle. So the tears up that we get from the Pascal Mandle uh Pascal candle, uh yeah, let's call it the Pascal Mantle, why not? is essentially almost permanent with a slightly upward inflection because theoretically we shouldn't be getting hit more than once in any given room, right? Go in here and uh, might as well see what's inside of the first room. Whole lot of nothing. All right. I was a little bit, a little bit scary when you're going in there one hit from death and you you only have half of a soul heart. But we do have the... I mean, we do have the Holy Mantle, so curse rooms are free. Slip Rib is slip bad. I mean, Slip Rib is... I guess there's no reason not to take it. It just... It's just kind of there, you know? We get the treasure map. Wow. Full mapping on floor one. We could even get... We can even get the blue map if we really, really wanted to. Floor one and two just giving us... Just giving us all the stops. So 5.35 tiers is really, really good. 421 damage is not too terrible either. I mean, it's not terrible at all. It's it's good for where we're at. Secret room might be to the left of here, but I'm a regular secret room. But I'd rather go into these. I'd rather go into the suit. Try this again. I would rather go into the regular secret room than go into the super secret room, which is on the west end of the one that we were previously in. Go get some golden poops here. Just the happy little golden poops. Now the golden poops do actually have a an ability to lucky us we get another flying enemy, so lemonade really showing its value here. The golden poops will use uh, the Midas touch on things that they touch, theoretically anyway. If they break, I think that I think they they cause Midas touch if they break on something. Poop just dropped a dime. There we go. There's the Midas touch you saw right there. We get a tears up. But unfortunately, we don't have enough HP to really take the devil deal. We can go angel. I mean, this feels like a this feels like it was made for an angel angel deal because of the fact that we got we well, we started with an angelic item with the Pascal Candle, and then on top of that, we got that random we got the random uh holy mantle, so. Take that. Yeah, we'll buy a bomb. Why not? And uh, yeah, we have absolute full mapping now. And I also was absolutely incorrect where the super secret room was. It was actually south of this room. It can spawn to the left of this room, though. We get Black Champion Ragman, which I'm just going to kind of prance around here on the, on the lemonade. Okay, Empress card. The Empress card is probably a little bit more useful, but we do have the Emperor card anyway, and that allows us to skip a level, especially if we get Curse the Blind, so I'm willing to hold on to it. Curse the Unknown. 
go. So we gain a soul heart here, thanks to us having Holy Mantle and the Curse Room not causing us any damage at all. We know from the full mapping that we've got exactly where we need to be. There we go. Good damage there. Yeah, we got the we got one of the NASA worms. That's great, but get barraged by all the other ones. Blue hushy. Blue hushy. He's little and he's hushy. Uh, we could open this chest. We might as well do it. And yeah, I'd say that was definitely worth it. I'm going to use the Emperor card now because there's no way we're going to hold on to this Emperor card for the entire run. I think that's a little excessive. Unless it allows me to skip that uh, that room anyway. The challenge room. Wow, our range is actually our range is actually wow bad. I didn't even realize that. Shot speed is on point, but man, you see Sigil Baphomet giving us that shield there. Uh, yeah, it's worth it. Um, okay. Mm hmm. Okay. I've got a little something to say about that, but. I need to go to. I need to go to the. I need to throw the challenge flag on that one, I think. Hey, Hushy, why don't you go over there and, like. Okay, never mind. He put himself in harm's way. Better give me that soul heart back. Okay, let's go into the shop here. 19 cents. We're looking pretty good. Now, if we actually get normal that can deal damage, I mean, the Sigil Baphomet is king. I'll need to settle down. Glass Eye. I wouldn't mind Glass Eye. Get a couple keys here. That's fine. See if we can get Glass Eye, because it is a pretty good damage up. There we go. One tap and done. Bot fly, I could care less. And we'll buy the sack. Okay, we got a bomb. Um, we'll hold on to the bomb for the next floor's secret room, so. Yeah, other, other than the spike snafu there, we, uh, we're we looking pretty nice. And we are also going to have an HP upgrade from it, so it's okay. Go check out. Oh, we got a planetarium. I'm not sure why, but you get a planetarium. So yeah, our shot speed is again. It, it is it's pumping right now. 1.44 is really really nice. Be wrath. Uh, sometimes there's a tinted rock in this particular wrath room. This time there's not. I mean, Mr. Boom is just is so far superior to Lemonade. Like, it's not even close. Like, we can we can move the active targeting area of Mr. Boom by simply pushing it or shooting it, rather than Lemonade, which doesn't affect half of the enemies in the game. And Mr. Boom just deals more damage too, so it's real. It's a real real good trade there. Now, I did have a question pop up. A little while ago, people were asking me, how can I shoot my bombs instead of simply placing the bombs? There's no real reason for it. It's just a habit that I got in. And I don't... I mean, it's usually not a problem. The only time it's a problem, and this is also kind of the reason why I started doing this, is because sometimes if you place a bomb, it will actually clip inside of Isaac and not move. So me shooting the bomb ensures that the game registers, hey, this is not inside of Isaac, it's actually outside of Isaac, and I need to move it this way. Um, you've seen it, you've seen me plenty of times um, drop a bomb and then like walk through the bomb, and that's when it gets really scary and dangerous, especially if you don't have a whole lot of movement speed. So shooting the bomb ensures that, hey, I can get this bomb away from me, I don't have to worry about it clipping inside of me, and that's that. 
the wild card here. I don't remember the last thing that we used. I think it was... It wasn't lemonade. But with x-ray specs now, we can simply just walk into the... into all the uh, seeker rooms, and that is... that is A-OK -okay by me. We don't need bombs to go into the seeker rooms at all, which is nice. And with full mapping... I mean, we have we have ultimate full mapping here, like everything. We have, we have the mind essentially. We have the mind. All we need is black candle, and this is gonna be perfect. We do not have the range to hit that from there, and he's just staying in the same spot over and over again. Done? No. A reroll pedestal in the seeker room is interesting. Hmm, not really what we're looking for. We did get Venus from the planetarium, which is nice. We get that nice little charm effect uh, whenever something looks at Isaac. Isaac looks very good in the in the Venus Venus hair. I mean, he, he's he. You know, how can you not be charmed by him? You know, as opposed to someone like me who won't charm anybody. Unless I got little sissy, then I don't have to. She charms him for me. I mean, we could play this to maybe get a soul heart payout, but I've I've yet to see it payout with more than like half of a soul heart. Yeah. We have a 67% chance for an angel deal now. You never know. 30 just murked all of her nubs there. Down go the nubs. Of course, if you haven't heard by now, Husky has made his miraculous return to Bronze League Heroes. And yes, I'm starting to pick out replays again. <laughs> it is, uh, it's quite incredible that, uh, here we are finding ourselves in the year 2023 of our Lord, and I'm still, ho I'm still looking at Bronze League Heroes replays. Like, who would have ever thunk that, you know? Like, we're back to where it all started. Me me sorting replays for Husky. Not getting paid for it. You know what? That's okay, because friends help friends. And Husky's helped me a lot over the years. He was he's, he was giving me shout-outs when basically no one else was. And uh, it's great to see him back, finally. I, I mean, I knew that he was going to be doing more replays, obviously for a while now, but I couldn't say anything <laughs> for obvious reasons. But, uh, yeah, go, if you, if you're missing, if you're missing Husky, you're missing the Bronze League Hero stuff, we're, we're doing it again. The band's back together. Well, I is not what I want. Eh, I mean, it's a damage upgrade. Right now, we need any damage we can get. You're seeing our awesome tears right here, thanks to the Pascal Candle. I'm trying to move that host so I can get a shot of the other one. And we get another Ragman, champion Ragman fight. Now I have a question. If we use two Reverse Emperor cards on the same floor, does it give you two bosses? Let's find out. This is for science. This is for pure science. Your science, 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 science. Well, Hushy, you're doing great over there. Sty, which is essentially the other part of Blood Clot, and then we're going to do it all again here. It dropped Mr. Boom. Okay. So the answer is no. No, it doesn't. It just gives you... It just, it just uses your space bar item, apparently. Okay. Okay. That doesn't make much sense to me, game. But you know what? You usually don't anyway, so that's fine. Here we go. 
A nice little, nice little loot haul there. I don't know why I went in here. We have, we have Holy Manta. We could have just gone out of the curse room. That has nothing in it, but... Oh, we got another key for our, our problems. Maybe a Black Soul Heart? Arrow card. Tower card. Now we're talking coach. Yeah, in a, it's it's kind of strange how <clears throat> ever since Husky started posting the new Bronze League Heroes episodes that like I've weirdly been interested in playing Star, StarCraft again. Because I guess it just reminds me of the old days, like a, a game that I was also halfway decent at. I mean, it wasn't like pro level or anything, but I was back in the day. I was pretty, I was pretty good. Starcraft. The Ninja Push was something of legends. I was even featured on a on an MLG show for that for that show. It was really neat. For that build, anyway. But you know, it's it's just a, it's it's a weird it's a weird sense of nostalgia, knowing that we have new, old new videos. It's like, what next? Am I gonna bring back Solo Q Salinas from Here's the Storm? I don't even know if like anyone is still around from those days. We we you know we haven't we haven't pulled <clears throat> we haven't pulled the mosh pit yet, <clears throat> and that'd be the question for today. When was the when was the oldest? When was the oldest video that you joined the mosh pit? It'd be the this would be part of our new our new uh, comment incentive program. So where I read a couple of the comments on the next, you know, I'll, I'll let it populate for a day or two, then I'll, then I'll pick some of the responses. Get that get that comment engagement up, and thank you by the way for the people who have been posting uh new comments and stuff people are like oh you know i didn't know the comments helped oh yeah oh yeah 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 up a whole lot and that is not genesis it's breath of life which people are like really really super about but i am not i would rather have an on-demand mega boom bomb than play with breath of life like i know it can give you invincibility and stuff but you know so does sigil baphomet <laughs> and i don't need to hold it down you just have to kill stuff and boom wow look at that look and also sigil baphomet won't hurt me okay so this is a very good use of mr boom here I wish that there was a key that I could just press and hold, like Isaac puts out his arms and just holds, like in Link, in, uh, like Link to the Past or something. Good enough. Tears up here from Binky, the Soul Heart. Our tears rate is really, it's really popping, y'all. Looking good here. Remember, we get, we have a hundred percent Angel Deal chance now because of the Eucharist, so that is the reason why that is not wavered at all. I missed boss rush, but that's okay. No big deal. Our, our last few boss rushes have not been stellar. I don't mind losing that heart there because it was a yuck heart, and we can just simply refill it with this red heart down here, so there's no harm, no fell. Unless, of course, that red heart was inaccessible, which I forgot that it was. Kind of let the troll bombs do the thing here. So I've I've been lately just a little bit of a of a life update. I've been starting getting into collecting coins because it's kind of like the more that I read about about coin collecting, the more I'm like, hmm, that seems pretty interesting. And I really like the idea that like the same coin can be seen many different ways, but depending on like the collector. And what and, and that sort of thing but I'm still like I'm still totally new at it like I don't know much about collecting coins or anything like that um, but it, it's 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 kind of neat in a way where there's like so there's a there's a type of coin called a toner 
And a toner is a variant of a coin that like has a special shade about it. Um, either by the way it, it was aged or handled back in the day. Like you could get like a 19, like a coin from like 1900. And it has like, you know, really weird blue and purple hues to it. You know, it looks kind of ugly at first. Like think of, think of like, um, think of like Two-Face coin from Batman, right? It, it, it would look something like that. And I'd be like, oh, that looks, that looks horrible. Like who would ever buy something like that? But it turns out that like a lot of people really like the tone, the toned uh, coins and stuff. And, and depending on the color that they turn is like, will will actually make the price differ. Like it, it, it's fascinating to me because what it does, it reminds me of like, it reminds me of serialized trading cards, like rarities. Like, you know, oh, I got a purple refractor. Oh, I got a black refractor, you know. Out of 10, out of 50, out of, you know, 25, whatever. And uh, it's like, but the, but some, like the amount of money that some of these people pay for coins is like nuts. I mean, crazy, crazy, crazy high. And uh, I'm like, man, how cool would it be to just find like a 1920 Morgan silver dollar and it just be like a rainbow toner that's like you you send in for grading it gets like an ms70 or whatever and you got like you got like hundreds and hundreds of dollars for a one dollar coin like i don't know it's about as dorky as i can possibly get at this point except outside of maybe collecting stamps but like i would rather collect coins and stamps i don't know it's like it's a different dynamic than collecting pokemon cards i'm not sure if anyone out there collects coins or whatever but if you do let me know oh! <laughs> That's, uh, that's a pretty big upgrade for us. Damage is now looking pretty good. Yeah, if there's any, if there's any, like, super boomers out there, or big nerds who collect coins, hit me up. I'd like to, I'd like to chat. Or just post in the comments and I can respond. Like, I've, I've bought a few, uh, I, I haven't gone, like, I haven't gone, like, buck wild or anything with it yet, but, um... I bought a few like Morgan silver dollars and like a couple like Ben Franklin quarters that look kind of cool. And, uh, it's, it's interesting. It, it, as someone who has a, who has a very large, um, collection of like sports cards and Pokemon cards, it's fascinating to me to see the differences, but also have similarities between the two hobbies. Um, it's interesting to see what people like to buy, what people like to trade and, and that sort of thing. Um, you know, like for Pokemon cards, you're looking for particular Pokemon. For coins, you're looking for particular colors of shades, or like particular years, or even like it gets it gets crazy, man. Like like people look for particular mints, as in like the actual mint that the coin was made from. Like you know, like one of the rarest type of mint, mint Morgan silver dollar is the um, is the Carson City mint or the CC. Man, like those are super rare and really, really collectible and valuable. So I, I don't know. Like it's it's been a, it's been like kind of like that new thing that I'm kind of geeking out about a little bit, just because I'm like, oh, this, I like I like learning about new new ways to collect stuff. I, I can't pass up the the damage that we get from Crown of Light is just going to be way too massive with Sacred Heart. I know, I know. I'm I must appear really attractive to all the ladies out there right now, talking about my Pokemon collection as well as my now slowly but growing coin collection. I know. Contain yourself, ladies, please. But it's been it's been fun to just learn new stuff. And I feel like the older that oh man. Wow, filigree feather plus the Eucharist is just guaranteed extra angel items. Um, I feel like the the older I get, the worse my brain gets. And so, like, I'm, like, forgetting a lot of stuff that I used to know, and it's being replaced with, like, ooh, coin. Like, ooh, shiny. You know what I mean? But eventually to the point where, like, I'll just, I'll just forget how to walk, and it's just going to be me, like, just being plastered in, like, Pokemon cards and coins and stuff. Uh, yeah. Big Star of Bethlehem all day, every day. We're going to also destroy Gabriel here. And he gives us Lazarus' rags, which I will take. Why not? Why not? Uh, old Hushy. Yeah, lap one, Old Hushy. Let's just get him out of the way right now. Why not? 
I mean, we don't have enough money to really buy anything in the store, but... We get Star of Bethlehem to help us, so... This is his last key to get into the store. Yeah. Of course, there's no keys, so... Go. And rubber some... Ooh. I'm going to take... Science Infection is just so good with this damage here. I mean, the fact that we got the Headless Horseman's mount, too, that helps us out big with the movement speed. Take Adrenaline, even though it probably will never, ever, ever proc, ever. Hangman's kind of useless, considering that we already have flying, but... Good, it was a good try, old hushy shop. I definitely do not want to take damage against Hush because I want to keep this tears up that we've got um, from the Pascal Candle. Oh, baby. Look at that. Imagine if we get shielded tears. But this is where Beth, this is where Star of Bethlehem kind of sucks because Hush just sits right on top of it, so you can't do anything else. deflection there by a uh, slip rib. Wow. Yeah, we just no hit hush. No problem at all. I mean, technically we got hit, but I mean, come on. We had, we had Holy Mantle. You don't really have to even wait for Star of Bethlehem because Star of Bethlehem after the new patch will simply just speed up and go in the direct in the uh, correct location of where the boss is. So if you if you actually go in front of where Star of Bethlehem is, uh, it will it will speed up to catch up to where you are and then slow down. Yeah, we don't want Blood Oath. Blood Oath is not good here, or really anywhere. I mean, some people really like Blood Oath. It it can be good if you're trying to get rid of Red Hearts, but we have so many Red Hearts right now that we that. Yeah, we would get a nice devil deal, or we would get a nice damage upgrade from it, but it's, to me, it's not worth losing all your red hearts for. <laughs> you see the homing of Sacred Heart there, just, and, and plus just the sheer amount of damage that we're doing with Crown of Light is just, it's ridiculous. We are absolutely molly whopping this run right now. Sneaky little shot there. What if we can beat Satan before? Yep. <laughs> I'm going to bring his foot over here. Then we're just going to go right back to the yeah. star of Bethlehem. It just, it's just shreds people. One of the best new items in the game. I guess it's not really new anymore, but star of Bethlehem is just so, so dang good. A quarter sack dagger. Damocles He's Damocles. Fine. Uh, I will take sack dagger as well. I don't really want uh, ocular rift. The Damocles is going to be good. The Hierophant, might as well use it now. I'm also thinking about... Um, I'm thinking about starting to add more incentives for YouTube members here. Because I know that, you know, the Patreon obviously has gotten, has gotten a lot of love with exclusivities and stuff. But... Um, I'm thinking, what I'm thinking, and this is me thinking out loud, 
What I'm thinking of doing is doing like a weekly or possibly monthly uh, chat. And it will be a live stream simply just for uh, YouTube members here, like paying YouTube members. And I think that I think subscriptions are it's the same as a Twitch sub, so it's like $4.99 for tier one. And and anyone of of any tier would get access to the live stream and they would be and those would be the only people who, who could actually see them. And I'm thinking about doing stuff like that to try to incentivize YouTube memberships more. We'll talk about it in a second. Second seed. Uh, Delta Alpha Zulu Mike Bravo Alpha Victor Quebec. It was just a thought that I that I I thought about the other day and I was like, you know, what is what's something that would be relatively you know, painless to set up, but also be worth it for people to to want to like, you know, incentivize them to hang out and do stuff. And, and who knows, maybe even play Isaac together. Like I'll I'll choose somebody uh, from the audience to play like a co-op run or something. I don't know, something like that. This is just me thinking out loud right now. I'm trying to gauge feedback here. Doing something like that would be pretty neat. Like have a monthly a monthly mosh pit, where it would just be it would just be me, you, and everyone else who who is a paid member here on YouTube, and uh, you know, just just talking the talk, you know, shooting the shizzle, all that kind of stuff. I think that'd be neat. Talk about Isaac. Talk about whatever, really. Spend like an hour together every month. I think that I think that would be neat for some people who maybe maybe they can't make live streams or maybe like they they feel like their comments aren't seeing is being read as much or whatever. But I do still read every single comment. In fact, last week we had uh, I think it was like Wednesday or Thursday or something like that. We had someone who was like, "Does he actually read these?" And I was like, "Yep," <laughs> and it just made their day. Oh, yes, I do still read the comments. Even though I may not respond to all of them, uh, I do still read them. Oh, my God, we finally got a range upgrade. I think that our, our worst complaint right now is the fact that we have no range. That was Bobby Bombs plus something else, which we don't know what it is in our item room because of Damocles. Bobby bombs. I don't, I don't want Bobby bombs. Bobby bombs are Bobby bad. Nine volt. This is not. If we had, if we had the double filigree feather, it's not going to give us more. It's not like it's going to give us like two items with mom's box. So to a dime, and it's very nice. quarter so we instantly go back up to now 29 cents which we could double and make 58 cents um, or wait and yeah, this damage though is just just sick nasty crazy we get some really stellar Sunday runs squeezy which is gonna give us even more tears and booster pack speak of the devil my goodness Two bombs, levels our bombs. And yeah, I'm going to hold on to the two of diamonds. Uh, well, we don't need the mine, so I guess I'll take Divine Intervention and uh, Salvation, which gave us the Seraphim Transformation anyway. And we get the Rosary as well as Stigmata. Wow. And that was because we have... Uh, that's because we have Damocles. And I didn't... Who knew that Damocles actually synergized with uh, the Filigree Feather? I had no clue, but man, what a absolute banger combo that is. I guess you're still terrible. Hopefully IBS makes Ed's list of things that need to be improved a lot. Because I don't think IBS is ever going to be usable in its current state, in my opinion anyway. Like it's just way too dangerous. And it's also one of the more difficult unlocks to get with Tainted Blue Baby for some people. So, yeah. We're just getting... If we get one good space bar item that we can just spam over and over again, we are going to be absolutely laughing. 
The trinket smelter is kind of... Eh. I'll take the trinket smelter, but... Yeah, give me the movement speed. We smelted uh, filigree feathers, so that's good. That is muy bueno. Get another shot speed and range upgrade. Or tears upgrade, I should say. But it didn't. It's not going to count because obviously we're we're already super capped. Need more shot speed and another orbital. Loving our shot speed now. This is good. Is this going to give us four items? Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Jesus Juice, and uh, we'll take Genesis, fine. Do we need Genesis? No. Are we going to use it? Probably. When? I don't know. I have so many questions. Just, just chill out, man. Just have, just, just enjoy the run. Do we need to re-roll this? No, absolutely not. Absolutely freaking not. I think what we'll do is we'll probably end up using Genesis and Boss Rush, just so we don't have to do it, and still get the benefit of having Damocles going into Boss Rush. So potentially we could get 16 items out in there. That is, that would just be the dream. I'm curious to see what all these other holy items... I mean, there's no way that we don't get Sacred Heart back. There's no way. I, I refuse to believe that we live in a world where, with this many angelic items, we would not get Sacred Heart back anyway. And we can get more movement speed and stuff, too. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. I'm still not taking... I'd, I'd rather have two Crown of Lights than take Sensor. The Crown of Light didn't even stack. Spirit Sword and another Eucharist. I'm only taking Spirit Sword because we're going to, we're going to re-roll it on the next uh, on the next two floors at some point. But this this sword is doing tons of damage. You get hit by this sword, you are instantly dead. Moving speed here. Get the box as well. What's in the box? Uh, we can take the silver dollar. Um, <laughs> speaking of coins. We can take the silver dollar, but we're probably not going to end up using it because we're going to re-roll in the boss rush. Uh, could we do boss rush? Yeah, of course. We could do boss rush. But I don't want to do it with the, with the spirit sword. And not that the spirit sword the spirit sword is bad or anything, of course. It's just like we just had so much more DPS whenever it was just uh you know Sacred Heart and Crown of Light. But we did get another planetarium, which is interesting considering that we don't have anything, to my knowledge anyway, that's buffing that. I don't think that we took the uh pretty sure that we didn't take um the magic eight ball. An Emperor card. Apparently we also took damage there. Super Greed super dead. Uh, then we can use the Emperor card to get to Mom on the next floor. A little Haunt as well as the Sack of Pennies. Somehow we picked up that penny when it was 50 feet behind us with the Spirit Sword. I'm not quite sure how that works. But I did notice that game, trust me. Yeah, just a nice, nice holy Sunday run. Blue cap and another HP upgrade. Again, this is just all reroll fodder for uh, Genesis. Alright, Angel, Spear Destiny. Oh my gosh. The chunkage sound that that made hitting Uriel was just so good. It conjoined. Just not going to give us three swords, by the way. 
Although it would be cool if it did. And actually, surprisingly, the boss room is just... All of it is just connected right here, so that's... That's a really weird spot for the boss room. On this map, especially with the map being so big. Car, we can buy PH Dizzle. I get a movement speed upgrade or two out of it. And we'll take Mom's Pearls. Fuck up. Luck up. I saved myself the two two rooms of walking. As a super dead mom. It's Sacred Orb as well as Blood of the Martyr. My goodness. This is just full-on angel run at this point. And uh, again, for just S's and G's, we're just going to find out what, what Genesis gives us. Pyromaniac, brother! Well, starting off with C-section, that's a... Uh, that's a big one. All right, we're going to be here for a little bit. Um, C-section. I mean, my reflection is just a big damage upgrade. You can also use the gift in here and cry because we don't want that. Sacred orb, oh my goodness. Godhead babies. Diplopia. Remember, we do not have... We do not have uh, Damocles anymore, so... Get tears up here. Definitely want the crown babies. Oh, show. Um, Uranus, which is going to give us freezing babies. Another martyr. Wafer. Got to take Wafer. Look at all of these incredible items that we're getting here. Uh, give me the shot speed. I don't know what Hamilacre is going to do. But I'm just going to ignore it. Cover cable was quad shot. Uh, again, I'm going to stick with Star of Bethlehem. These are all not great. I guess the Spear of Destiny. We need some shot speed here. We've got tons of damage. Uh, Eucharist again with a balance. I'm going to take a balance. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's a that's a nice little boost there. We get Parasitoid as well as Dead Eye, which I don't know if that actually works with C section or not. Well, Chad, uh, I think we're capped on tears, so I'm gonna go take that and yeah, right on cue. Like I said, no way that we don't get Sacred Heart again. Uh, Mons Perfume is gonna is gonna it's gonna raise the tears cap for us, so. Yes, divorce papers. Uh, Book of Virtue is fine. Ooh, I do want purity and holy mantle here. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that. Oh, we just get all of it thanks to Diplopia. Okay. Uh, yeah. When equals power. Nine volt. Yes, keeper's kin. Tech Whizzle. Oh man. Uh, Abadabba Ding Dong. And Eden's Blessing. Ooh, but... Gotta have that Mysterious Liquid, though. Let's see. We want... Eh, give us more shot speed. We're good on movement speed and stuff. Uh, Tech X with C-section is just... Just absolute brutality. Take Undefined. Uh, squeezy. Eh, we don't really need Squeezy. Serpent's Kiss. And we'll take, uh, yeah, we'll take eye drops. Why not? Growth hormones, Capricorn. And it raises the tears cap. We're corn. Yeah. I know I pass up some Torium, I know, but look. It was necessary, okay? Holy Femus. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, give me that Shoop to Whoop. Shoop to Whoop. Book of Virtues combo. Buckfoot. Uh, we'll take Lusty Blood for damage. Mm, yeah, we'll take uh, Car Battery. Gotta have Lead Pencil. 
Um, oh, mom's knife, tech X, babies. That is with soy milk. Sheesh. Uh, yeah. Take mom's ring. The guys. Uh, I'm going to use the D sizzle now. And get sci fly. And we can also take dad's key. Sure. Squeezy. Iron bar. Yeah, we'll take uh, rubber cement. Yeah, I'll take Jacob's Ladder, although this might crash the game at this point, so I'm a little bit worried about that. Uh, I'm just going to pass on Maw the Void just because we're not going to a worm, buddy! We're not going to need uh, Maw the Void. Worm, buddy. The goat is back. Ebizzle. Smashing twin. Spin down die, but I kind of want to fight Mega Satan to go to Delirium, get Black Candle. Uh, yep. Pajan, there we go. All right, well, I can't wait to see what these look like. By these, I mean I'm talking about these, these tiers. Yep. Uh, it's pretty good. I'll try not to hold down the uh, the fire button. <laughs> um, it, it's you know it's it's okay. It, it's I, I would say this is serviceable. Is a decent build. We're still doing sixty one damage with soy milk. By the way, I just want to point that out. Uh, yeah, the four Lokis instantly died. Because uh, that was Vanishing Twin. I really do get a sense that if I hold down the fire button for too long, it will actually crash on me. So I am going to sort of temper this with... Uh... Where's the secret room here? Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to prevent myself from... Oh, yeah, we have Terra. I'm going to stop myself from holding down the fire button unless I absolutely have to, which I have a feeling I'm probably not because we're one-shotting everything in this in this entire planet. Everything's just dying immediately. This is some of the highest damage that you will ever see. Not on paper. And we get, a, we get Athame as well as meat. Yeah, I mean, let's go fight old Hushy again. Why not? And why not? It's a holy Sunday here. Now... Question, dear Mosh Pit, how long do you think Old Hushy's going to live? Before I go fight him, post it in the comments. How long do you think that Old Hushy's going to live? I'm talking about just Hushy. I'm not talking including Blue Baby. I'm going to say maybe five seconds. That might be a little bit disingenuous. I'll say less than 10. Let's put it that way. Over under. Over under is eight seconds. Post in the comments. Over or under. Let's see who's right. All right. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight seconds. It was weird counting it because I had to look at what the uh, time was, but also like I can't see anything. So yeah, so it was it was under under ten, which is pretty much what. It, most people probably said. Get red kizzle doesn't matter. I mean, just give up, game. Just, just give it up. I wouldn't. You know, you wouldn't have thought that our our last run would could have gotten any better or any stronger, and yet here we are. And it was precisely what I thought Genesis would do, which is flood us with, like, all of the good angelic items. And just absolutely wreck house on the game. It's intruder. Uh, yep. Jello, come on down. Why not? This should be fun. We have a 51 tiers. Fully expecting the game to crash. There's no way it doesn't crash, right? 
Right. Right. Apparently we already beat Negus 8 in phase one. Instantly dead. <laughs> oh, look, Jello's got Tech X on him. Oh, and it crashed, which means I, th I think that means the run ended. Actually, I don't know. We may, we may have to fight Mega Satan again. I actually don't know. If the run crashed there, that means that it was over at Mega Satan. So we didn't get a Delirium Portal. Let's see. Oh, we're still in the chest. Okay. We're going to try this again. Yeah, I'm not going to I'm not going to take Jello this time. That's also weird that Star Bethlehem turned around like that cuz now we have Mega Satan here. Mashing Twin does not work on Mega Satan obviously. If I can leave, no, I can't. Well, if it crashes again, then I'm just gonna go fight Blue Baby. I'm not even gonna fire a second phase. Like I, I haven't touched anything. He's already dead. I didn't even fire. No, we did get a Delirium Portal. Wow. Okay. Okay, so I don't know what caused that crash then. I thought that that would have meant that it, the run was just flat out over, but apparently it's not. I was not expecting that, but hey. We, we owe Delirium a, a good old-fashioned butt whooping. Oh yeah, Vanishing Twin's going to do that, isn't it? I'm pretty sure Vanishing Twin will not give us two Deliriums, but if it does, then oh well. I somehow think we're going to be okay still. Call me kooky, call me crazy. I'm pretty sure that we're going to be able to kill anything that the game throws at us. All right, Bethlehem. All right. Well, I do. I am missing my mapping, though. By the way, if you didn't see what I did up there, I went up, I went up and touched the host just to poison him. The hosts are going to last longer than Delirium. Might be one of the fastest Delirium kills I've ever seen. Thank you for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this extra long episode of Eden Runs here on Sunday. What a fantastic run that was. Whew. Man, got to love it. So, again, I appreciate all the support last week, everyone. Remember, we're only three away from the All Items tier list live stream happening. And, again, let me know in the comments down below how you feel about the idea of having YouTube member-only streams live Q&As, that sort of stuff. I'd love to hear the feedback on that. And as always, I will see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank some patrons of mine like Dakota Taylor, Kaizo Blades, and Langwort. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find over at patreon.com slash Invicta.